What do you think? I think it took a little too much off the top. <laughs> hey, Ronnie, flat me a jack. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Gareth Murray, Bob Troutman, director, local neighborhood justice. I, I, I'm sorry, who? I'm investigating a missing child. Neighborhood watch has uniforms? Yep, standard issue, I have made it myself. Here, let no, me- No, no, I, I got this, I got that. I have to go to work. So you don't have time to help find a missing child? Nope. This is Troutman, I have a suspect. You're not a real cop, Bob. And what is it about people that terrifies you so much? Is it that they expect so much from you, or are you afraid that you'll let them down? I mean, if you want my advice, a wise man once said, you gotta cut yourself some slack, bro. Just because you failed once doesn't mean you're a failure forever. Can you at least open it halfway? Do you ever check your voicemails? Uh, it's effing Columbus Day. School is canceled. Oh, uh, Are you doing anything? Probably. Great. You can watch Laura while I'm at work. Wait, what? Why can't Eric watch Look, her? Look, he can't, okay? Well... I know, you're like the last person I'd want watching her. Thanks. So? Mm. Well, it's not a no. Come on, honey. Sure has got a lot of cool I... stuff in there. Thank you. Like, I know it's been hard since mom. I'm... You know it's not your fault, right? I mean, it's just like, I'm sorry I haven't been around. It's I just we didn't the best of terms, which is not really your fault. And you had to take care of her by yourself, and I just, I'm really sorry about that. Go to work! Okay, you know, we'll talk when I get back. Thanks, Garrett. That was aggressive. Boom! <gasps> Books? So yeah, mom, uh, your your grandma loved books and read and stuff. Do you do you need stuff? I'm hungry. Uh. This is Sergeant Troutman, over. You gave yourself a promotion now? I need a description of the missing girl, QED. Wait, you actually found her? Eight years old, long hair? 10-4. Filipino, prosthetic left arm, eye patch. That's the girl you found? Uh, you reached, oh shoot. Mom, the pig hit! Hey, this is Merrick, right? We're supposed to talk about my mom's funeral today, but you're not here. Damn it! So... I mean, fuuuuck. Merrick! Merrick! 
Eric, I need to have a word with you. Don't you start that car. If you know it's good. I told you kids to get off that lawn! Hey! <clears throat> uh, Gareth, right? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry about being late. I was with child. What? Well, uh, my condolences about your mother. Oh, why don't you tell her yourself? Uh... Hello, darling. <laughs> Now about my funeral. Your funeral? I'm going to go in the next year sometime once everything's planned out. But oh, there's nothing worse than a bad funeral, and I insist on being buried while I'm still attracted. Uh, you and you it just can't. can't possibly come soon enough. Now, while you have several beautiful caskets, I break out in hives when I come into contact with pollen, trees, and most forms of oxygen. Do you have any hypoallergenic caskets? <laughs> Do you charge a flat rate per body, or is it by the pound of chicken? If the events at his funeral were to necessitate the uh, arrangement of another service, is there a discount for uh, frequent customers? I'm here to apply for the residency. That seems that means I can live here. I, I, I need to because uh, my apartment is gone. I've been waiting here three so days. Three service. days. Are you sure that this is him? I mean, like a uh, little car. You know, what you do stay. Because my husband was like six feet tall. Did you lose any? Nine, ten point three. Help a brother out. What do you have in your mind? Well, you hear me? What am I gonna do to get my ashes? Are you okay? Why are you just sitting there? Get up! Do something! That's right. That's right. Bring me my ashes. That's right. Girl Scout from Troop 312. Mom says Girl Scouts are tramps. Well, I... I'm trying to sell enough cookies so I can earn my super cookie seller badge. All money goes to research for terminally ill koalas. Uncle Gareth, can I borrow some money? Absolutely, niece Laura. What for? I want to buy cookies from Penelope. Who's Penelope? We have chocolate chip and peanut butter and <gasps> sugar and really good care of them. I break my toys a lot. Mom gets mad. She says I need to think about the consequences of my actions. I think she's just mad because Dad left. I didn't know that. My hamster died last week. Mom said you can't stop bad things from happening, but I still feel like it's my fault.
Come here. I'm sorry about your hamster. What was his name? Chill. That's a good name for a hamster. The cat thought so too. <laughs> oh. Don't think you can hide your little secret forever. I know what you're doing in there. Please. You're sick. Please don't. Sick. Don't worry, Hannah. I'm here to help. <sighs> what are you doing to Laura? Laura? I will gut your ass. Ma'am, I warn you, I am a force of justice. Oh, and... Don't you ever touch my daughter. You geriatric oh. boy scout. Oh. Get off of this lawn. Oh. I don't want to ever see your face oh. in that porch again. Oh. Yeah. I am so sorry. I'm pretty sure that guy was off his meds or something. God damn it, Gareth. I ask you to do one thing. Come on, honey. I'm sorry. I'll call for a sitter to pick you up from school tomorrow. Bye. Can I come here again? <laughs> Seriously? I don't joke. I mean, I wouldn't mind. If I see the creepy boy scout near her again, I'm changing the Netflix password. But I pay for... Sure. See you tomorrow, Laura. Bye, Uncle Jared. Goodbye. He had a lot of dolls, Mommy. Oh. Yeah, and they were people size. Kinky. Didn't think you had it in ya. No, they're not for... Were they all girly dolls, Laura? Two of them were boys. Ha! Called it! I'd like a word with you. As chief executive officer of the local neighborhood justice, I'd be remiss if I didn't admit when I was wrong. I'm sorry for harassing you. You know, I just wanted to feel useful. I've been kind of restless since the war, you know? Well, uh, maybe we'll have another one soon. Yeah, yeah. Here's open. Anyway, uh, sorry for having thought you were suspicious. Don't worry about it, Bob. We all make mistakes. <laughs>